Hey guys, so in this video I'm drawing Mindy Kaling, or actually I'm technically drawing Mindy Lahiri, which is the character she plays on the Mindy Project. Um, I just recently started watching the Mindy Project because I was looking for something that I could watch while I draw for my videos, and I went on Netflix and it was one of the recommended shows, and I just finished watching the third season, and so I'm kind of hooked on it, and I didn't think I would be because it's a romantic comedy and I'm really into dramas right now and so I didn't know if I would like it but I actually do mostly just because Mindy's character is amazing I love her I like how she's relatable and how she'll make jokes at her own expense or or have overconfidence it's hard to explain but I really like her personality and I've developed a girl crush on Mindy and so yeah, I just, I was trying to think of what to draw for this video and I was like, okay, I want to do some kind of fan art. What have I been watching recently? Pretty much just Once Upon a Time and the Mindy Project. So I was like, hey, let's draw Mindy. Especially because I just saw an episode recently, I think it's called something like Dinner with the Castellanos or something like that. And she's wearing this really cute dress. It's a teal, turquoisey kind of color with a plaid design and she had a cute headband on. I just thought it looked really, really nice, and so I was inspired to draw that. And she also had her hair was brown then, because sometimes it's black, sometimes it's brown. Like, she's had a few different hair colors. Um, At this point in the seasons, she had dark brown hair, and so that is what I went with. And it was really hard trying to capture her likeness. I'm not good at drawing people, whether it's, like, I mean, I'm not I'm not good at drawing real people like if I can't do realism and I even if it's cartoony like this trying to take a real person's face and turn it into a cartoony drawing I just oh it was really hard but overall I'm still happy with it and what the sketch looks like right now is a lot different than what it ends up looking like but um I'm happy with it because I know I'm not good at it. I know it's not perfect. Like, if some random person saw this drawing, they probably wouldn't be like, hey, it's Mindy. But, I don't know. I'm still happy with how I got, kind of got her features and kind of got her likeness. So, yeah. And I don't think I have anything else to say specifically about the picture. So, I think I'm going to move on to sort of more updates. I just wanted to give you guys channel updates and updates on what's been going on. If you watch my vlogs, you probably already know most of this, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys updates. So first thing on my list is Inktober, which I failed at. <laughs> I think I got done 17 out of the 31 drawings because you're supposed to do an ink drawing every single day in October. I got 17 done and uh, yeah, and a lot of them aren't even very good. They're, most of them are pretty simplistic, and uh, I promised you guys, well, I didn't promise, but I told you I would do a video at the end of the month of me flipping through my Inktober drawings, and that's not going to happen, because there's, there's not very many of them, and they're so simple that it's just like, ugh, it'd be the most embarrassing video ever. So if you want to see those drawings, just go to my Instagram, because they're all there. It's at Bailey underscore J. You can look at them there. And next year, I probably will not be doing Inktober again. I'll probably do maybe two or three ink drawings or something. Who knows? But I'm not going to try to do it every day again because, I don't know, it's, it just doesn't work for me. And I'm not the kind of person who can commit to something like that. And I just have a lot of other things going on. So that was an unrealistic goal for me. But I tried. <laughs> Next item on my list, I just wanted to mention my toy channel. I started a toy unboxing channel like I've mentioned in the past in these videos. And I have three videos up already because I'm up, up, I'm uploading three a week and I've gotten through my first week. And so there are finally some videos there. It was quite a long process to get it all set up. Plus I got a new camera. So I was trying to figure out the new camera and oh, it was a lot of work just getting it started. But now that it started, it's going good. Um, I'm a little bit nervous still when I'm filming for those videos because I've never filmed videos like that before and I've never used that kind of camera before and so I'm nervous things will go wrong or that I'm doing it wrong because you know there's a lot of toy unboxing channels out there already and so I feel like 
my viewers who do watch toy unboxings are kind of judging my every move. Like, I'm like, oh no, I got to do it right. Or people will like correct me or I don't know. <laughs> it's really a stupid, irrational fear. I just, I don't know. I guess I just have the pressure to do well, and so I feel like I was pretty nervous in my first few videos. But it'll get better, so... Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, link in the video description if you want to check out that channel. Next is Patreon. Um, I don't know if I even said anything about this on this channel, but I've decided to discontinue my Patreon. I know I've talked about it in the vlogs and I've tweeted about it. But um, it's done. It is done. <laughs> if you pledged in October, that was your last chance to get rewards. And now I'm just shutting it down because it takes up so much time trying to do those rewards. And things like trying to get up an extra speed paint video, that's a lot to commit to. And packaging all the orders, which is it's about 130 people that I have to package orders for every month and it's just oh, it, it's a lot and I found myself not really enjoying it that much and um, I don't need the money anymore so it's like well I don't like it I don't need the money and it's taking up too much of my time common sense says to stop doing it so yeah I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me on there and you really helped sort of kickstart my my self-employment and um you were there when I needed you and stuff so that was pretty awesome but I don't need it anymore so I'm gonna be ending that but um yeah <laughs> that's pretty much all I have to say about that and then next up is my store this is kind of a minor change doesn't really affect you guys that much but I've been getting so many orders and spending so many hours packaging orders that I decided I'm gonna use uh, third-party service they're gonna print the prints and send them to people and I'm only gonna be in charge of sending my original art and but the, what's cool about it is they can they can offer other products like mugs tote bags that kind of stuff t-shirts and so there's gonna be the possibility for me to have more different kinds of merchandise available for you guys to get and so I think that'll be pretty cool. So my current store will stay up until the end of this year. Well, actually not really because I'm leaving in the middle of December. So my store is probably going to close around December 10th or something. So, or maybe a couple days later. I don't know an exact date. Keep an eye on my Twitter. That's where I say everything is on Twitter. <laughs> so if you want anything that I currently have in stock, I would suggest picking that up because, um... A lot of the art that I currently have in the shop might not be available as prints anymore once I open the new store. Who knows? So, yeah. Plus, I don't think this... I don't know if I can do buttons or not. So if you want one of my button packs, now's the time to get it. And, yes. I guess that was pretty much the last thing I wanted to mention other than the fact that I got a new camera. It's a DSLR and... I'm not using it for this Mindy video, but I will hopefully be using it soon. Um, I haven't got my settings figured out for how I want to do my art videos, but I have a pretty good idea now that I've messed around with it a lot for the toy videos. Uh, one thing I do want to do before I start filming with that camera though is rearrange my desk so that I can, I'm planning on putting my computer where my art station is and putting my art station where my computer is because the computer side is bigger and so I want more room for my art plus the way I have to set up the tripod is going to take up more room than my current setup and so I need that space if I'm going to use this DSLR camera so yes so hopefully the videos look good with that camera I mean I'm, I'm still new to it so I'm still new to all the settings and all that so it's not going to be perfect but um, it should be an improvement over what my setup is currently so I'm excited for that and so better quality videos for you guys anywho we're getting down to the end of this video I hope you guys like it I hope it kind of looks like Mindy <laughs> let me know if you watch the show because I think it's awesome uh, yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video here's progress on the picture the background will probably get darkened a little more. I'm not even sure what I'm doing with it. Everybody say hi.
<laughs> right now we have 1,284 people here, so that is awesome, and uh, I'm liking my new setup. 